An early morning fire at a Raleigh townhouse sent two people to the hospital. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy joins us live outside the townhome on Brook Knoll Place with the latest. Kelly. Maggie, neighbors tell me a woman lived here with her elderly mother. Now, I just want to show you the extent of the damage. Take a look. The second and third floor completely gone. Now, I spoke to the first responder to this fire, a man who lives right across the street. Finally, just decided to look out the window, and I was just like, oh my God. It's terrible. Most people living in this Raleigh neighborhood were still fast asleep at 6:30 Sunday morning when this town home caught fire. But William Strickland was up. He was walking down his hallway when he heard a woman's cries for help. I didn't even close the door. I just ran across the street, you know, in my PJs and barefooted and just ran over there to see what I could do. Strickland found a woman standing in the doorway screaming. She told him her elderly mother was still inside, and that's when Strickland saw her lying at the bottom of the stairs, completely unresponsive. He tried to pull her out of the house. I mean, it was difficult because I, I, I entered the house, got to the stairwell, and I mean, the smoke was already so bad I couldn't breathe. But he wasn't strong enough to do it alone. He knocked on all his neighbor's doors until a man came to help. Together, they pulled the woman out and put her on the lawn. Strickland watched as paramedics tried to resuscitate her. All of a sudden, I was actually scared. I was just nervous. I, I didn't really know how to react. Um, never having gone through anything like that, I did, you know, you just all your emotions start to hit you. I just realized that, you know, we're all pretty helpless when something like that happens. Strickland says he doesn't know if the woman made it. The fire chief tells me paramedics took two people to the hospital, but could not tell me their conditions. Strickland walked away with some battle wounds. But if he had the chance, he would do the same thing. My mind, I just never thought of anything, but I needed to save this woman. I mean, that was it. The fire chief tells me the cause of this fire is still under investigation. Now, I just want to show you one more thing. If you take a look at the firewall, the chief said that held up really well because normally with a fire like this, it would cause a lot more damage to the next door uh, town homes over here. But two of these town homes were deemed unsafe. If you take a look over here, you can see they evacuated two families who live in those homes. For now, reporting live, I'm Kelly Kennedy for CBS 17 News.